The Merry Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, Illustrated Edition. <laughs> the Merry Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, adorned with humorous engravings. Okay. Is it a quest item? Apparently it is. Let's read it. On one occasion, Muriel went on a journey to see her auntie in Marabar in Maribor, accompanied by her nursemaid. Their path took them through a forest, and in this forest lived a raucous troop of bandits. This infamous group was led by Flynn, Flynn Selms, and all the king's men had been unable to bring them to justice. Alas, such was Muriel's great misfortune that these bandits chose to attack her carriage. Muriel's nursemaid was old, blind, and deaf. She did not wake when a tree fell in front of their carriage with a loud thud, nor when the bandits fought a fierce battle against their guardsmen. When Flynn ripped open the carriage door with his muscular arms and stepped inside, Muriel had to deal with the danger herself. Make our guest comfortable, young lady, the old nursemaid muttered in her sleep. Muriel obediently carried out her instructions. Okay. What? Is there more to this quest than that? That's it? Oh, well, we found the book. Okay. Do we need to tell him, maybe? Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but <laughs> oh, we've ones with drawings as well. Uh, okay, we got another card player, and we've already looked at his books, so... Yeesh. Um, I don't even know what to say this guy is, so I can keep notes. Farewell. Uh, okay, well, he got his name right here, so play Marcus T.K. Hodgson Gwent. Sheesh, we got a lot of Gwent playing ahead of us. Try not to make too many... Like, so this play, se play session, I already played Gwent once, so I'm just going to try to keep it to one or fewer. Okay, here's another one. Oh, okay, duh. It didn't even occur to me that maybe that red book we picked up was the not the correct one. Let's pick this one up. The treatment of furuncles through cauterization, a study. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoops, I didn't pick it up. The treatment of furuncles through cauterization, a study. Oh my gosh. Really? Everyone's seen a boil, usually more than they'd care to. These deformities don't just mar your beauty, they can be signs of disease, or even the disease's cause and epicenter. If your lungs wheeze and your heart flutters, or if you're just sick of pustules, you can carve them off and be free, free of this ill for good. When you go to carve off a boil, use a sharp knife, which you've had a dog lick thoroughly beforehand, for a dog's tongue works wonders in healing wounds, ain't that the truth? You got to be brave as you go about it, slicing as confidently and steadily as if carving off a hunk of cheese. Oh. Then quickly cauterize the resultant wound, wound using a red-hot poker. Don't pay any mind to screams or tears. Pus, bile, and any other humors need to be gathered in a basin, then dumped in a pit and the pit covered, else the illness might return. Oh god, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. I feel a little ill after reading that. Okay, what's next, Geralt? Let's try this red book. My Manifesto, The Life of Jacques de Aldersburg. Why does that name sound familiar? My Manifesto. Must be it. There's a letter inside. Aha! Quest updated. Message from an old friend. Let's take a look at this quest. Read the letter you found folded inside the book, My Manifesto. Geralt found the book and inside it, a letter from someone he had once known. Though he gave no outward sign of it, this filled him with touching recollec recollections of old times. To this day, I don't know who the old friend was, nor what he had written in the letter. And that's a shame, for judging by Geralt's behavior, therein lies a very interesting tale. Ooh, do we get to read it? Um, so here's the book. We'll check this out first. 
The reasons for choosing Jacques de Aldersburg as Grand Master remain a mystery. The Order of the White Rose had gone through a crisis in those times and was on the verge of collapse, so one might guess that the Brethren wished to have someone decisive as their leaders, someone with a clear vision. De Aldersburg was precisely such a man. One of his first decisions was to change the Brotherhood, Brotherhood's name to the Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, it was the Order of the White Rose, now it's the Order of the Flaming Rose. The most puzzling aspect, however, is that the Order and the King himself decided to trust a man who, for all intents and purposes, had appeared out of nowhere. They say he was a wanderer, an itinerant priest who moved crowds with his speeches declaiming non-humans. They say he worked miracles and showed his flock visions of a world destroyed by the White Frost. He was undoubtedly a man of great charisma, one instilled with unshakable principles, which he in turn tried to instill in others. Was he truly a source? Was he indeed gifted with raw magic talent? That we will never know for certain. But that's not really what we're interested in. We're interested in this letter from A. Hmm. Who could A be? Now, I've only played part of the first Witcher game and haven't played the second Witcher game. A, the only A I know is Abigail. I'd be surprised if it was her. Um, Alvin is another A. I don't, I don't know what happens to Alvin at the end of the first Witcher game. And please don't tell me. Um, hmm. Well, let's read the notes. Witcher. In the ocean of possibility, some events are more likely and some less. It is not easy to fish out the first, not even when one's intellect stretches through all time and space. I left this letter for you in the hope that, despite all odds, you will come across it one day, for I must warn you. Mankind is threatened. The prophesied destruction by the White Frost is not just the babbling of some mad she-elf. Perhaps I will have the opportunity to convince you of this in person. If not, I must rely on this letter, which you will read many years from now, at a time when you know more than you did when we first met. Know that nothing will save the world except preparing its entire population for this catastrophe. The old tales say a child of the elder blood can stave off the danger, but I tried and failed. Maybe this is Alvin. Ever since I have been haunted by a hideous vision a crowned wraith, the specter of my failure. I was the chosen one, and the chosen one failed. You and your brotherhood are our only hope. When the time of the wolf's blizzard comes, men shall perish, and only the ubermen will survive. Your duty is to give the world ubermen. Whatever you think of me, do not fail as I have failed. A. <laughs> I wonder if that is Alvin. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you know, don't tell me. Um, I guess we'll f maybe find out later on in the game, or maybe I will find out after I finish playing The Witcher 1 and then someday The Witcher 2. Yeah, I'm sure I'll remember all that. Huh. Well, I'll be doggone. So, um, man, there's more red books up here that we can loot. That quest is completed. Is there any new text for that one now? Let's see here. Um, gosh, I mean, these are in no order. I'm going to complain about this every single time I do this. What was it? A message from an old friend? Because I always like to come in here and read the final text. Damn. Message from an old friend. Look at this. It's just in random location. And there's nothing new here anyway. So, oh well. This will give us the vampire's last likeness. Might as well pick these up. I mean, we can sell them for money. Tyromancy or the noble art of cheese divination. That's freaking awesome. What's up, rich townsman? Greetings. Oh, greetings to you too, good sir. So rare that somebody's friendly to us. Kind of takes me aback a little bit. Alright, now do we tell this guy? 
Probably not. Ah, you're back. Uh, okay. No, oh, this is different. Let's see these books of yours. Well, maybe it's not different. Um, let's see. We can sell him this one. We can sell him. He's not going to pay much for it, but we might as well just give him back to him. Okay. I haven't read these yet. All right, we got a little bit more coin there. Lightened our load a little bit. We'll play him cards some other time. Uh, let's see, we need to talk to that merchant. There is a notice board here. Word loosely. <laughs> Alright. Beware of thief. Sunday last, someone broke into the merchant Jin Longobardi's cellar, taking out of it a barrel of triple mead. Around the time of the break in, witnesses saw a thin, bald man rolling a barrel down the street and giggling to himself. The thief was also noticed to be singing a rude song in which he called himself Odrin. If anyone knows the perpetrator's current whereabouts, they are asked to contact the injured party immediately. Contract Haunted House I seek a witcher of unsullied reputation. Documentation re regarding prior achievements and written references preferred who will undertake the task of combing the residences on the outskirts of the city recently acquired by the undersigned Count Kurt Dysart in order to find and drive off or kill the creature which is haunting it. A sizable reward is guaranteed. Sincerely, Kurt Dysart, Count of Anchor by writ of King Foltest, temporarily in residence at the Kingfisher. Hmm. Okay. Contract Imp. On behalf of the Merchant's Guild, I hereby announce the following. A particularly bold beast, an imp to our thinking, has taken to thieving in the market near the city gates. Though it has not yet harmed any humans, this monster has caused a great deal of irrecoverable financial loss. Whoever tracks down and kills this imp shall receive a hefty reward, run one free of all taxes in accordance with our Honorable City Councilman's Decree numbered 1271-C-7-10 Do not tarry in providing us assistance, good people, for retail trade is the backbone of a healthy economy, meaning the financial well-being of the city's merchants lies in all of your best interests. Sylvester Amello Merchant Alright. Warning for new arrivals. Newcomers are hereby informed that in Novigrad, one worships the eternal fire and only the eternal fire. The practice of any other religion will be treated as an act of heresy and punished to the full extent of the law, that is, by public incineration. Particularly forbidden is the wearing of the symbols of other deities, the conducting of rituals in their honor, or the preaching of their faiths, of other faiths. His Excellency Cyrus Engelkind Hemelfart, Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire. Okay, fist fights. Anyone looking to bash some heads will find plenty of worthy ones in our fair city. Those interested in joining the fun, sign up for our tournament. You'll face the, these most highly honorable gents. Uh, Georges George, known as the Pile Driver. Archibald, Archibald O'Neill, Captain Iron Mortimer, and Durden, known as the Tailor. Okay, finally contract monster in the bits by order of the city council number 1408 DZ 185 a reward has been set aside for the killing of the monster which torments and murders residents of the bits after dark the only acceptable proof of having performed this deed shall be a trophy taken from the monster's body yes this means your mother's or cousin's or aunt's eyewitness testimony will not suffice nor will the sworn word of any other person, regardless of his or her claimed relationship to you, the Hierarch, or anyone else, and also without caring one whit for his or her alleged trustworthiness, which supposedly can be attested to by anyone at your favorite drinking hall. 
For more information and or to collect the reward, see the district superintendent for the bits. Lund. By writ of the city council, superintendent of the bits. Okay, so we got some undiscovered locations shown up. Uh, new quest, contract an elusive thief. Contract doors slamming shut. Uh, Fists of Fury, Novigrad. Following the Thread. Let's see how many of those I remember. Um, Fist of Fury. Geralt found out a series of fist fights was being organized in Novigrad. He had participated in such fights in the past and grown to like the feel of his fist pounding into some lunkhead skull. He thus decided to take part. Yeah, maybe when he's level 23, maybe not. Following the thread. Man, this is level 11. We're level 13. While wallowing in the bits, Novigrad's worst and most notorious slum, the Witcher took a contract on a monster committing horrendous murders under the cover of darkness. At the time, he never suspected that a story starting in the gutter would end in a luxurious manner. Oh, spoiler alert, jeez. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Some contracts, door slamming shut is new. Sprawling out of town manners always hide their fair share of mysteries. And the residents of, on Novigrad's outskirts were no exception. When Geralt found out about a haunted manor owned by a certain Kurt Dysart, he agreed at once to look into the matter. Well, it'll be a while before we get to that one. This one here, however, level 13, a Novigrad merchant by the name of Sylvester Armello had hung a notice on the Novigrad board asking for help in tracking down a thieving imp. It seemed the merchant's guild was being pestered by a mysterious creature who kept stealing wares from its members' stalls. Geralt accepted the job. Okay, I think that's everything that we got from there. Man, so many quests. So many. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Crazy all the stuff there is to do. Wow. My mouth is dry. That was a lot of reading in this episode. We read a lot of books. And we read a lot of notices. Played a little bit of Gwent. And um, saw horrific activities here in this square, which is called Herarch Square. Until quite recently, a great many mages lived near Novigrad's main square. They fled when the witch hunters began their reign of terror, leaving many of the city's most beautiful townhouses abandoned and uncared for. Oh, let's go back to the map here. Um, well, um, when we come back next time, maybe we will actually finally go find Triss. I thought we'd find her this time, but we uh, found many, many other things instead. We may go here and uh, talk to this innkeep, and we may go here and talk to this herbalist before we go find Triss. But you never know what might happen, so make sure you tune in. It is break time for me now. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you please let me know by hitting that like button. Feel free to leave a comment if you wish. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you'll join me again in the next episode.